And who do we have here on the left corner? Our man Cody Rhodes here in Model for 3 Multiplayer uh, Season 5. Look World champion and extremely handsome. Need I say more? Huh? It's Crossroads! Just beautiful! <laughs> Just beautiful indeed! That was tight! <laughs> So uh, what's up guys, Entry here by Nino Rokwaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty, Mod Warfare 3 Multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies. In today's video, we're going to be covering the new special store bundle of Tracer Pack Cody Rhodes Operator Bundle. This is one of two WWE collab bundles that Call of Duty is doing with WWE, the other one being Rey Mysterio. Uh, it comes with Cody Rhodes himself, a Car 98, Super E46, and as well as his own signature finishing move that he uses in real life. So you guys excited to see everything in this bundle? see if it's worth it and see anything secret about this bundle you got to know make sure you guys drop a like in the video subscribe and turn on those post notices if you're new to the channel I upload uh store bundle videos like this that interest me including tracer packs reactives mastercrafts or anything that you know kind of boggles my mind and i also upload high kill warzone gameplays from time to time that you can learn from so yeah stick around for all of that but without further ado let's go ahead and check out cody rhodes the american nightmare I've seen ropes with better fight than you. I like his uh, his voice lines. Let me know what you guys think about uh, you know his design and everything. Uh, I'm not really crazy about uh, WWE or anything, so like I legit know nothing about him personally. But I like his design. It says Nightmare on the back. And uh, let me know who your favorite uh, WWE fighter is as well. I, I think he looks great, and we're gonna hear some sound effects from him. We got the Nightmarish Precision Car 98K, which looks pretty nice. And here's how the Tracer looks like. Has a really cool death effect with this, with this pretty much his logo popping up. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And here are the attachments in case you guys are wondering. Some pretty interesting attachments. We'll see how it looks like with a meta class setup, but I love the design of this gun a lot. Next up, we got the Superior 46, the American Nightmare Arsenal here. And here we are with the Tracers, once again, with that really cool dev effect of his logo. So this is a really nice looking Superior 46. Comes with these attachments, no ammunition traces, so you can't put these traces on any other gun in the game. But it uh, looks pretty sweet, and definitely something for, uh, you know, his American Nightmares. We also have the finisher of Crossroads, which is pretty crazy. We got the decal of the American Nightmare weight belt, which says Nightmare on it, really clean. This should have been a decal as well, honestly, but it's just a weapon sticker, weapon charm, and the loading screen of Cody Rhodes. So all of this for 2400 COD points. I think it's worth it, especially because the Car 98 is pretty lethal in Warzone. Superior is amazing in both multiplayer and, and Warzone as well. And we get a finisher in Cody Rhodes himself. You know, these collab bundles are the only ones that really go hard, usually most of the time, here in MW3. So let's check it out in game. So here we've got the American Nightmare himself, Cody Rhodes, looking pretty tough here in the menus. And of course, we got his Nightmarish Precision Car 98K, and the American Nightmare Arsenal Super 46. So uh, here is the default blueprint attachments. If you want to keep the tracers, you can change any of the attachments, except for the ammunition. If you add an ammunition, you'll lose the tracers. And these tracers are pretty fire, so definitely keep that in mind. Here's how the gun looks like with Gilded. Here's how it looks like with Forged. Here's how it looks like with Priceless. And here's how it looks like with Interstellar. Really unique designs, which I really like. Here's how the gun looks like with Golden Enigma. Here's how it looks like with Zircon Scale. Here's how it looks like with Serpentonite. And here's how it looks like with Borealis. And we, of course, got one trick. Molten Obsidian and Mercury looking all really, really sweet. And uh, here's some of the event camo. So what I like about this blueprint is that the stock is what's the really main, the, the main attachment here, kind of holding the camo blueprint together. So this gun is going to look amazing with all of these camos. Just because you're going to get some unique designs uh, with how the, uh, the blueprint's already presented with like his stars and stuff, which is actually like really cool. So... Uh, if you want to rock something a little bit unique, you definitely can, which is uh, something that I really like. Look at Rod Inferno. That looks freaking crazy. Shifting Grid looks amazing. All of these are going to look unique in their own way, which is something you should definitely uh, keep note of when, when using this camo or this blueprint. So if you're a Car 98 lover, you, this is going to be one of those camos you're definitely going to want to 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 have just because this is probably one of the best looking Car 98s I've ever seen. Sheesh. Looks really sweet of all of these. Here's how the glittery flats look like. Yeah, this is these are some unique designs for sure. The, the only thing that worries me is that once you change up all these attachments, or these, uh, yeah, the attachments, you're not gonna have this like super amazing starry look just because uh, this is definitely far from an optimal class, at least in multiplayer, I'd imagine. So moving on to the Superior 46 American Nightmare Arsenal, you can change any of the attachments and keep the tracers except for the ammunition. If you add an ammunition, as always, you will lose the tracers. 
And when it comes to the camos, very kind of a similar design. We got Gilded, Forged, Priceless, and Interstellar. Here we've got Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale, Serpentinite, and Borealis. And here we've got One Trick, Molten Obsidian, and Mercury. So a lot of the design of the blueprint won't uh, stay on some of these camos, but some of them will, like we saw with the, uh, the first event camo here. So really depending on the camo, you might like this or you might not. You know, the cipher looked kind of interesting. There you can't even see any of it. So you kind of have to just like test each camo and see how each one looks. But if you're wondering about that star, that star is not going to look, you know, appear on most of these IK. Yeah, you're going to be losing the, the look of the blueprint very easily. Rod Inferno always looks fire though. I swear that's one always one of the most goaded camos ever. You know, here we go with the, the special camos. Some of these look really cool, like like these CDL camos. The CDL camos have like multiple shades of colors. So with the star and the blueprint design and everything, you're gonna have like very different sort of like styles here that you can definitely interpret for yourself that you wanna rock or not. Glittery flats looks really great on this, uh, this, this blueprint. So keep in mind that glittery flats camos are pretty fire. Bold camos, also the same case. You can make some very unique designs here, which is really sweet. And then solid color camos, you could also change it up really well. So at least with the, the regular camos, you can have a lot of customization. And now I'm going to show you guys how the guns look like with a meta class setup for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the Car 98K Nightmarish Precision. And here's how the gun looks like with its meta class setup for multiplayer. So really what changes the whole design is going to be the stock. If you take off the, the first stock here, then you're going to lose a lot of the design. The thing that sucks is that this stock is really trash in my opinion. It doesn't help you in any way. So... Uh, up to you, at least you'll keep the tracers. Here we've got the American Nightmare Arsenal Superior 46 with its de de default blueprint attachments, I can't talk. And here's the meta class setup for multiplayer for the Superior 46. Once again, losing a lot of the design, but you still got the star in the middle and everything. You keep the tracers, obviously, uh, with this sort of class setup, so eh, it's all right. Here's a good look at the decal with the SVA 545. And uh, here's how it looks like with the inspect, not too shabby. And if you're wondering about the American Nightmare himself, he's going to be on the left side here, way at the top here, at least for right now. You try and crossroads and, well, I'll show you a crossroads. Will you show me a crossroads, Cody? World champion and extremely handsome. Need I say more? Love his voice lines. The people's champion at your service. Yeah, let me know how he is as a as a person. I I don't know nothing about Cody Rhodes, but if you're a fan of WWE, I know you're freaking hyped for this. But without further ado, let's head into the game. Check out his finisher, which you already have equipped by default, and uh, check out the tracers. Let's rock and roll. So here we are with the Nightmarish Precision Car 98K, which absolutely looks beautiful in my eyes. As you can see, really clean inspect of the gun. You could also see, see Cody Rhodes' hands, his right hand uh, being bandaged up. And here is the Superior 46, in case you're curious. Also looking pretty clean with that uh, AW scope. Love the way these guns look. And especially, like I said, the camos, they look pretty sweet on these guns as well. Uh, let me take off the optics as well. And there you go. Here's the iron sight for the Car 98, in case you're curious. And here is the iron sight for the Superi. And, uh, yeah. Not bad if you listen real closely, just a nice little firework sound effect that you can hear when you shoot the gun. This superior looks weird. I don't know with this gun. But yeah, pretty cool. Nothing too crazy or special, but the death effect is going to be pretty nice like we saw. So let's go ahead and get this death effect in. And there you go. Uh, and that's a little freaking, you know, his logo pops up, but nothing else really crazy happens to the body, which is all right. I think the, the little skull is pretty clean. And if you shoot the body, you still get the, the little logo popping up. So not too bad. I'm going to like seeing that when I when I body opponents in game. And here's how Cody Rhodes looks like uh, from the enemy's point of view. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And of course, finally the moment you've been waiting for. Let's go ahead and see how Cody Rhodes takes down his opponents. Whoa! Crossroads. The Crossroads finisher! Now let's see how the finisher looks like when they're laying down. It's Crossroads! Just beautiful! <laughs> Just beautiful indeed, that was tight! <laughs> and now let's see how the finisher looks like when the enemies are downed. Behind for crossroads. There it is. 
Bro, I love the, the, the finisher. It's so tight. Let me know if it's accurate to what he does uh, in real life. That, that was really cool showcase of finishers. And who do we have here on the left corner? Our man Cody Rhodes here in Model for 3 Multiplayer uh, Season 5. Look at him, bro. Freaking buff ass freaking dude. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about him and his look in third person mode. He is uh, definitely going to be a beast at taking down the opponents. So let me know if you're excited to see Rey Mysterio or you're happy that Rey Ripley's in the game and what your favorite WWE operator is out of these three. Or who else would you like to see from WWE here in the game? Like John Cena would have been tight. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this bundle. I, th I think it's all right. It's a Superi 46 and a Car 98, which are both really meta guns, at least at the moment. Uh, the finisher is pretty tight. And uh, Cody Rhodes is a uh, is an icon. I'm assuming from WWE. Like I said, I, I really don't watch WWE at all. But this is a really cool collab, at least so far. And we got some cool stuff coming this week in terms of a WWE event. So yeah, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, new channels, post notifications. I will say I do apologize in advance if I miss some bundles this upcoming weekend because I will be away from my setup. But uh, overall, I don't think we'll we'll see too much until the week after. I really freaking love you all. And let me know your thoughts on which WWE operator is the best. I love you all.